Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. Okay, this reading may or may not be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Scorpio for around the 17th through the 23rd of August? Oh, this is about your happiness, isn't it? So this is probably going to be a good week for you. And well, let's get the rest of the cards. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Gavel, involvement with the law. <clears throat> Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So this is good news. It is good news. Um, but there is some sort of involvement with the law that is coming up. Your intuition knows exactly what is happening, I believe. And I think that this is, is going to be a good week for you. It is a good week appears it appears that it's going to be a good week so what do we what do we have for scorpio look at that if i uh, hopefully you saw that flip right over that's the ace of pentacles this is a golden opportunity something you can touch a gift you've manifested something this is something solid stable long term this could be a new job that pays you very well. This could be a new car, a new home, uh, something that is very tangible, something you can touch. You're going to be receiving something, okay? Interesting, because that is exactly what this is. It's a new opportunity that you can take to the bank, okay? It's something long-term. Chariot, you may be moving. Some It could be a car, it could be a vehicle. Um, but this is also movement. It's moving forward. This is being in control. You're in the driver's seat. You're the boss. This could be a new business. Maybe you're starting a new business or your business is, uh, the money is going to come in. The money is going to start coming in. This could also be moving. Okay. The chariot can be moving. Um, but this does lead to victory and it leads to success. Ooh, 10 of swords. Ten of Wands. Well, 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 well. So we have some completions here. These are tens or completions. Okay, so it could be, you know, the Ten of Swords is suffering, but it's an end. Okay, it is an end. It's, it's a completion. I think you've been overwhelmed. And you may be overwhelmed at some point this week. I mean, that Ten of Wands is having a lot of responsibilities, a lot of baggage, a lot of burdens. You may be overworked. You may be very, very busy this week. Uh, it feels like you... Uh, both of these... that You may even have, be experiencing some back problems. If some of you are experiencing some back problems, you're, you could get a payoff. Okay? There is some sort of uh, overwhelming situation here with these two cards. This is extremely, I mean, it's painful. You may be trying to do too much. This is an, a, a feeling of being overwhelmed. I mean, in both of these cards, we have somebody that is holding their head in their hands. It's like... Why is this happening? You know, this is just too much. So something is going on here where it's, some, you know, the Ten of Swords is something painful. This is a breakdown of some sort. You may feel like giving up. This is mental determination, though. You may have, maybe you're in a situation right now where, you know, you've been overwhelmed. You've, you've, this has been too much, you know, and this is, it could be giving up and you have a better opportunity here. You know, it feels like you have a golden opportunity for stability, but you have to get in the driver's seat. You have to move. 
you have to make a move. And you may be extremely stressed out over it. Maybe you've been brought to your knees by somebody. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. doesn't have to be. It feels as though you need to take control. You need to let something go that you're holding, that you're carrying. You're, you may be carrying somebody. You know, there's something on your back. Seven of Wands. You're in a tough position. Star. Six of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups. Or Nine of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups. Saying goodbye. And the Queen of Cups reversed. So you may be in your emotions this week. You may be. <laughs> Excuse me. This is very emotional. This is a sadness. The Queen of Cups in reverse is sadness. Okay? It's It's heartbreak. Okay? So you may be dealing with you. I'm not. I got a sneeze that is coming. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and no, I'm not sick. I do have allergies though. But anyhow, um, this is very dissatisfied. If you're in a tough, tough position, you may be needing to defend yourself, and maybe that's why we have the law here. It feels like for some of you, you're dealing with a cancer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, could be, it's, it's, maybe it's even another water sign. could be in a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself. I feel as though you are... Somebody's packing up because this is packing up and leaving home. This is freedom from obligation, saying goodbye. This is um, healing. It's a card of renewal. It's a card of getting help. Perhaps somebody is getting some help. They're getting out of a, uh, it looks like it's a sad situation. The Nine of Cups reverse next to the Eight of Cups. Uh, so there, There's been a setback here. I think that you, maybe you receive some sort of information because we have the Page of Swords on the bottom. You may, This is challenging information. You may receive some information. Maybe you've sensed that somebody was... Uh, betraying you because a Ten of Swords is betrayal, hurting you, or doing something behind your back because of these backs. It feels like somebody's been doing something behind your back. And maybe you've sensed it, but you've been ignoring it. You do have a new opportunity here. And this is a rebirth, and this one, and this little card is too. So I feel as though some of you are actually moving. You're moving someplace. You're saying goodbye to a disheartening situation. I think it, it's been very emotional. Um, right around the corner, you're probably going to be letting go of something that has been weighing you down. I think you've been weighed down. You've been weighed down by by something. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's too many responsibilities. Maybe you've been... If you, like I said, you've been carrying somebody, and I don't know how that resonates with you. Um, but this is a challenging position, the Seven of Wands. I feel like you're going to be dealing with, maybe there's even some fighting. There's Maybe you got some stiff competition if this is job-related. Maybe you're dealing with some stiff competition. Um, whatever is going on, this is guidance right here. The star is a card of guidance. You're being guided in a new direction. Now, the star card is uh, blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So the tower falls, this is a tower moment, okay? There's an event that changes everything. Then there's there's healing and, and a renewal, okay? So this is this could be like the end. Tens are ending. So I feel like you are you are ending a situation in which, you know, there may not have been success, but you're headed towards success, okay, by saying goodbye. This Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Okay, that's the meaning of the card. That's that's disappointed. I'm leaving, and this is packing up and leaving home. So whether it's you or leaving a job, it could be home or a job, okay, because it just it could be. Somebody has been trying to do too much, and it feels like they, they just can't do it anymore. They've reached... You know, they've hit their knees. I can't do this anymore. This is really, I can't do this anymore. Um, 
very, very dissatisfying with a nine of cups reverse. This isn't what I was wished for. And I think that, you know, you, that you were dreaming of something more. This is lack of wish fulfillment here. And I think it's heartbreaking. There's some sort of heartbreak here with the queen of cups reverse sadness. Um, I think that you're going to be dealing with, um, some opposition. This is the seven of wands is opposition and the chariot is opposition. So you're going to be dealing with opposition this week. Um, but I feel like, I feel like you are being offered a new opportunity for success, but you're going to have to face the opera. You're going to have to face the opposition. Okay. I also feel like somebody's trying to help you. Somebody, somebody is going to try to help you, um, with whatever this situation is. You know, I think there's help arriving. It may be somebody maybe trying to help you break free from something. Um, the star is a card of purpose. Everything happens for a reason. This is a new purpose. This is also a wish granted. You may have been wishing to uh, end a troublesome situation. Okay. There's selective memory here. Somebody has selective memory. They only remember what they want to remember. Nothing stays the same. And we got somebody here that is clinging to the memories of the past. But there's a lot of mental turmoil here. There is. There's good memories, but there's mental turmoil. There's, there's pain involved. There is. So anyway, I feel like... Um, this is about your happiness. I feel like this week you need to follow your intuition. I feel like you haven't been completely following your intuition because the Queen of Cups is in reversed. I think you need to follow your intuition. I think you have been sensing that, you know, something is off. I think that you've been sensing that. I think that uh, you, somebody may be driving somewhere. <clears throat> And they may be driving, and whether it's you or the person that you're with, it's like they get in their vehicle and they go someplace um, to get some sort of fulfillment. And you, and it's almost like you find out about it. You know, you find out about it. It causes the tower moment. And now you got to face the challenge. So there is definitely a challenge here. You're gonna be you're. you're uh, probably going to be saying goodbye with that Eight of Cups connected to the Chariot. Okay, this is this is Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Somebody may be moving away from you, or you're moving away from them. This, you know, you were hoping for more. You were praying. You were hoping and praying that this was going to work out. But it's too much. It is. It's. It is. It's. It's too much. This is way, 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 way too much with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. It is. It is. This is the end. It is. The Ten of Swords is the end. Can't do this anymore. So I feel I feel like by by the middle of the week you're gonna you're gonna reach the point where I just I can't. This is overwhelming. This is too much for me. I think by the end of the week there's gonna be I don't know. It looks like there's sadness here. There's tears. Um, unable to master emotions. Uh, somebody's saying goodbye. That Eight of Cups is saying goodbye. Nine of Pentacles reverse. You must take action. You need to listen to your gut. You may think there is somebody that completes you, but this person doesn't complete you. You complete you. 
For some of you, you're in a codependent situation. The, the Nine of Pentacles reversed is this person does not complete you. There's insecurities. There's a need for discipline here. You must listen. You must listen. You must. You must take action. Uh, you may be in something, a codependent situation where you're staying in it. It's killing you just because you don't want to be alone. Or for some of you, you don't want to be alone, so you're hanging on. There's there's a lot of clinging to the past here with the Six of Cups reversed. This is not enjoying the finest life, okay? The Nine of Pentacles reversed. It's not. This is instability. It's insecurity. It's selfishness. You may be dealing with somebody that is selfish. Maybe this person is with you because they don't want to be alone. The nine of coins reversed is a person that needs to take action. So I feel like this week, um, hopefully you're going to be, this is hopefully, because it is hopefully, I think that you need to, uh, close out a situation these are completions nines are about closure but you're it's almost like you're fighting your intuition i think you know i think that you know that you have a bigger better opportunity waiting for you these two cards fell out Knight of Swords reverse, King of Wands reverse, and then on the bottom we have the Three of Swords. So this is a painful separation of some sort. It is. The Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that does something reckless. This is a this is a uh, ignorant know-it-all that is looking for a fight that doesn't care about anybody's feelings but their own. Could be a dangerous situation. Somebody could have an emotional outburst. Maybe the cops get called. I don't know. The King of Wands in reverse is anger. Narcissist. Tyrant. Egotistical. Unreasonable. So we have an unreasonable individual here who... I think there's going to be a fight. This is a fight. This is a, There's going to be a fight that causes somebody to pack their shit and leave. I, and I, you know, I feel as though it's been building up and building up and building up and building up. It's been building up to this moment. This is actually a blessing in disguise. Okay, you have a bigger, better opportunity here. But you have to fight for it. You have to fight for stability. You have to fight for this opportunity. There's going to be a fight. There is going to be some, so you're with whoever you are dealing with. There's going to be a fight, and I think it's it's somebody's going to depart. They're going to depart, and they're going to depart very fast. And I think it's heartbreaking. I think it's I, I think it is. You may be dealing with somebody that has another person. Okay, they may think that you are clueless. Anyway, Scorpio, I feel as though this week you are, this is angry. This is very angry. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody's going to get angry. They are. This per who Somebody is unreasonable, very unreasonable, self-centered, self-righteous. I feel like it's a narcissist energy, and I haven't said narcissist in a long time. It is. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is narcissistic. could be cancer could be a cancer but it could also be a Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Libra Gemini Aquarius I think there's going to be an outburst and I think that that you know there's going to be some tears that are shed and somebody's going to be saying goodbye and packing their shit and leaving 
and I don't know who it is, but that's what I see. But this does lead to happiness, and I know that when you're in the middle of the storm, the Nine of Pentacles reverses stormy weather. It really is. So I feel like you're going to be in some situation that is very stormy, but it leads to a new path. It leads to your new purpose. It brings you stability. It brings you security. It brings you relief. Although it hurts. And you probably don't want to let it go. Which is, you know, that's what I see. Anyway, I feel like this week is going to be... Uh, I think there's going to be some tears that are shed. I think there's going to be a, I think there's been a betrayal. I think there's been a betrayal. I think that you find out about it and it's heartbreaking and I'm sorry. And I don't know what the betrayal is. Could be anything. If it's not a betrayal, it's an ending. These tens are endings. Could have something even to do with children. Could have to do with a, a husband or a wife. Or children or somebody in the family this is ending ending could be the children leaving home it could be your spouse your partner leaving home you know the person you know there's some sort of fight where somebody you know says goodbye and it hurts but this is a new opportunity and this one is too It's something, it's a gift. And you may not see it as a gift, but it is. And that's all I can say. Good luck.